Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create your first uh, Photoshop manipulation. And this is the final result. It's a really easy manipulation and just uh, two stock images that I used for this one. And as I said, it's for, uh, for people that uh, just started with uh, Photoshop. And that's why I included this into the Photoshop for Beginners series and I want to show you every step that I did to this. I will start uh, with a new document and we'll, I will do this over again but I might not end up with the same result as here. I will get something similar but not exactly the same because I will not use the same color values and things like that but we'll see what uh, we can come up with. So I will create a new document. The canvas size that I used for this is 1100 pixels for the width and 700 pixels for the height and click OK. So this is the size of our artwork. So as I said on the text tutorial, the first thing we want to do is add all the elements that make up the artwork and after that we will take care of uh, colors, uh, blend modes and light effects and all that kind of things. But first you have to have a base to work with so I almost always start with the background and I use this image it's free you can download it from uh, from DeviantArt so this is the background that I'm using and I want to copy that onto my canvas here press ctrl A to load the entire the entire image and go to edit copy and now I will close this and I will press Control V to paste it, or you can go to Edit, Paste. And here I have the background, but you can see that it's uh, way too big. So I will zoom out. And now press Control T to load the free transform. And you can also do that from the menu Edit, Free Transform. And you can, if you zoom out, you will see that this uh, selection here. And you can scale down, but uh, you can see that you can distort the image. So uh, to prevent that you can press the shift key and hold that key while you click and drag and that way you preserve the proportions of the image and just make it smaller like that to about 25% in this case and then press enter to accept the change. Now with the move tool you can move this around a bit. I still want to see some of these branches here on top so I will leave it here. So this is my background and I went for something a bit more uh, romantic and that's why I decided that I will use the colors and the contrast of this background image um, as a guide. So I will use the colors of this background uh, and try to match the elements that I will add next uh, to blend with this uh, ambient color and uh, the overall uh, feeling of this uh, background image. So the first thing I will do is change the name, the background and get rid of the original background layer. And since this is a tutorial for beginners, we only used two stock images. One of them is the background and the next one is the image of the holding hands couple. So I will open that image now. So this is the second stock image that I used. The first thing I will do is unlock the layer and get the pen tool. Make sure you activate the paths option here on, on the, the options bar and just zoom in a bit. Actually let's zoom to 100% and, and now if you press the caps lock uh, key you can see that the cursor changes into a more precise uh, uh, cursor here so I will click here and start creating a path around the boy's uh, shirt like that. I prefer this method of, a, of uh, extracting subjects from the background but you can use other tools but I like this one. You just have to draw a path around the contour of the of the boy's body. Yep. 
it takes a bit of time but and we will use only this part here and then continue here I will uh, fast forward uh, from here because now you've seen how I do that So we are almost there. By the way, if you want to move across the image while you have this tool selected, you can press the spacebar and the cursor changes into the hand tool and then you can move around the image. And we're almost done. Now you have to close this um, path just by clicking here and you can see the cursor changes. And now I have the path closed. And what I have to do now is the, with the pen tool selected is right click and choose make selection. And I will set the feather radius to zero and click OK. And now I have the selection made but you can see that the selection is uh, inverted and you can uh, reverse the selection if you go to select inverse or if you press shift control i so inverse and now go to edit copy go back to your document and press control v to paste the image that you copied and now just adjust it and i will place it somewhere here now we can also adjust the background because I want that sun to be somewhere around here and something like that. We'll probably make it even smaller. Okay, something like that. And move and like that. So now we have the base here, let's rename this layer to Couple. And now that we're done with the physical part of the of the artwork, so the structure, let's go ahead and add color corrections and light effects and that kind of things. We don't have to create shadows here, but we can we have to create light effects. So the first thing I'm going to do is create is use an adjustment layer and I will use an easy one like photo filter because remember that I have to match the color of the background which as you can see it's um, has this golden color and because of the sunset so I will use this as a clipping mask so right click and choose create clipping mask and a quicker a quicker way of doing that is if you press the alt key and put the mouse between the two layers you can see the cursor changes and if you click that will create a clipping mask and I will use this uh, orange color and increase the density and let's see if we can choose a blend mode like color and let's use another a brighter color like this one And let's set the density to about 50%. As I said, the values here don't match the same values as on the text tutorial, but it's okay as long as you get the idea. So now you can see the before and after. So before and after. And now uh, they kind of have the same color as the background, so they blend a lot better with the background. You can also increase a bit 
the contrast so you can use levels and just increase the highlights just a bit and the midtones let's leave the shadows to the default so So you can see the before and after. So now we're done with the color and contrast adjustments. As I said, this uh, is an easy tutorial and I only want you to get the idea. So we don't have too much work to do here. But now we can go ahead and add some light effects. As for the light effects, uh, we can add some rim lights uh, here on the, on, the, on the edges of the of the couple's body and since the light comes from from the sun we have to add those lights here so the easiest way of creating that light effect is by double clicking on the layer to open the layer styles menu and from here we will add inner shadow to create the light and I know it sounds a bit crazy why do you use uh, shadows to create light but actually you just have to change the color and the blend mode and you're good to go and I will use um, yellow color like this click ok and change the blend mode to color dodge or let's see maybe linear dodge well linear dodge or color dodge uh, work the same let's go with linear dodge and see how it looks I will deactivate use global light and the angle that I will use it's let's see 78 degrees Decrease distance to 1 and increase the size. And let's try with color dodge. Yeah, I like this one better. So the blend mode uh, that I use is color dodge. And let's increase a bit the distance. Well, actually, let's, let's leave the distance to 0 and set the size to about 16 or 15 pixels and click OK and now let's see the, the difference so before and after maybe it's a bit too strong so I will decrease the, the brightness of the color and also the opacity and click OK so you can see that this light really makes it look like this uh, this couple is right here and watching that sunset because they are illuminated by this uh, sun here in the distance. So that's a basic uh, light effects trick. But you can do a bit more. You can create a new layer and use a soft brush. So select the brush tool, increase the size to about yeah, 500 pixels or something like that. Select another orange color and on this new layer just uh, paint once like that and change the blend mode to screen and it's a bit too strong the effect you can decrease the you can decrease the opacity if you want to so that way you can create that glow there so I will name this layer glow Okay, so that's all with light effects. Uh, you can see that it, I think it looks a bit better. And now that we have the light effects, the only thing that's left to do is just make some general uh, adjustments. So I will add the new adjustment layer from here and select gradient map. And click on this uh, on this preview here to open the gradient editor and select this uh, default gradient if you don't see this gradients here just click this arrow here and select um, reset gradients and click OK and you will get to this uh, gradients here and I used this one and I clicked OK then just change the blend mode to I think I used hard light and decrease the opacity to about 20% or something like that and you can see the change. Let's decrease to 15%. So 
So with this gradient map you can see the difference before and after. It makes it, uh, it adds a bit more of a color and well, it makes it look a bit more interesting. And if you want to add more um, more emphasis on the hands, a cool trick uh, that you can do is add some Gaussian blur on the background. So select the background layer. I would usually turn this into a smart object in case I change my mind so that I can deactivate that effect if I want. But if you don't have uh, Photoshop uh, CS4 or CS5 uh, and you cannot turn this into a smart object, uh, there's no problem. Just duplicate the layer and apply Gaussian blur to that layer. And if you later on, if you decide that you don't like it, you can delete that layer and have the original background there. But for now, I'll just go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and add about 1.5 pixels of blur. And let's add to actually and see how it looks and I will zoom in and let me deactivate that blur so that you can see how it looks so without the, the blur and with the blur so you can see that uh, it adds a bit more emphasis on the on the hands here and well it looks a bit different but that's uh, up to you you can add many as many details as you want so that's that's how you make your first uh, Photoshop manipulation. I hope you liked uh, the tutorial. If you have any questions, just uh, make sure you visit my website, uh, psdbox.com, or just post a comment on, on YouTube, and if you have any problems, I'll try to, to help you. So, see you on the next tutorial.